Welcome back to Space Engineers with Monkey B. It's time to get some walls on all four sides of this uh, base. Bill, move this gun turret slightly further out because it's not in the right spot. We need to get walls on this side, move that uh, piece of the old lander and start on building a rover or a driving vehicle for a bit of fun on the ice but, uh, so that's this episode let's watch the meteorites come in Luckily the debris doesn't actually get thrown around. So what I'm going to do is run around and start putting some uh, walls in. I want to... oh, got to repair that. Other thing I have... If I turn on my tools, I have a tier 3 welder. Time to get that welding happening nice and quick. What I'm going to do is put in some uh, flooring, some path, another walkway over to here. So yes. So what I'm going to do is put in a floor in here and then a walkway over to the maintenance bay. That will sort of go with the walkway above, which I'm going to alter slightly. Get rid of these uh, pieces here. Um, and then probably a path between the maintenance bay and into the, the the storage room, but I'm not sure about that yet. And I'm thinking of putting in some glass. If I could plant, put plants and stuff, I'd put plants and shit in there, make a little garden, but I can't. But let me uh, get this going and I'll get back. Haha, <laughs> look at that, a little tiny welder sitting there. That's one big hitbox. Okay, what I've done is I've just put in inside on the outside here just a row of squares, square blocks just to protect myself while I'm working inside so I still don't sure how I want to finish up this, these sections I'm going to put some glass in over here and possibly either dig out the floor down so I've got another goes down another level or raise this platform up higher but I shall look at that as I go on so there's the pathway into here and I'm going to put in some doors over here so I can drive my rover in and out. But until then, I'm just going to do a little bit of... Uh, put a bit of glass in here. And I'll be back. Okay, what I've done is I've stuck in glass here. And uh, I'm going to... I'm going to invert it because I didn't realize uh, let me have a look inside and inside it's tinted so I'm very dirty looking Oh yeah, that's better. Let's go and look at that one from the outside. Yes, that's better. Let me just invert all these windows. 
Okay, I've uh, inverted these windows and now that looks a lot better. I can see out. So I'm going to go around here, show you from the outside. So this is uh, just a very plain room. But then, yeah. And that's just going to be like a pretty much a landing pad up the top there. This is going to be the maintenance bay, as we know. And it's going to have the ramp here to get in and out for the rover. And then, of course, the mining machine. Thunder drill, the mining machine. And Argo up there. In fact, Argo is going to... I'm going to put a connector on top of the shipping container. And... And... I'm going to put a connector on top of the shipping container and move the Argo as that is its main base of uh, of rest. Uh, I've still got to build the roof for the rest of that. And I've got to now put a connector up here. So I can move this little guy slightly. See if the Argo can do that. But uh, I need some hydrogen. Let me just grab a connector. Let's go up here. Put that there. Ooh! What the heck? That <laughs> is unbelievable. <laughs> Let's uh, go get the Argo and have a go at it. to move this first. Hmm, that's strange. Should be another landing gear. Ah, there we go. It wasn't locked. Move this up. Land it uh, just up here for a moment. I just want to move this block. go and pick up this guy. Oh, I can attempt to pick it up anyway. Yeah, I don't know if there's enough power in that battery to get us a lock. I'm hoping...
and it looks like we can't lock because there's no power in that battery and I can't put charge into it there we go well as that guy is already whacked and as that guy's already knocked over I'm going to sit the Argo over here and charge up these batteries because I don't want them going flat Look. Yeah, let's have a look at the lander battery. Fully depleted in three hours. So good idea. I started charging. Fully depleted in 19 days. So I want to put this into recharge. And them into discharge. Fully discharged in five days. Stored power. I thought this changed to saying that puts very low. Yeah, I thought when you flicked it to recharge mode, it uh, told you what the expected time to charge was, but uh, I guess not. But its output is very small current input is nothing. Because I just want to try to get some blocks in here and maybe now that's fallen over I can. Sweet! I can't quite get things where I want them, but uh, it's a start. Oh, I love this. Uh, I love this drill. It just uh, drill welder. It's so quick. I'm just putting in some door here, and I'm going to put up a a wall like I've got around here and then uh, I'll have a door in to the base and out that's secure this will be open I'm going to put in something temporarily over here just to block this off and the same here just a temporary uh, barrier so that way I can work in here and be safe from the dogs while I work out exactly what I want I'm gonna need to move this uh, this uh, lander, this uh, old lander leg, and to do that, I'm gonna need some sun and a solar panel. So what I'm gonna do is set up a solar panel on it. Let me just, oops, don't need to go all that way anymore. I have an access point right here. Okay, well that will start putting some charge into that battery, and uh, that'll be good. Okay, so what I've done is I've uh, put in glass there, glass all around here. Ooh, yellow frames. I don't know if I like that. I think I might change that <laughs> back to the grey. Let's do that right now. Beautiful. So there you go. So that's what that's looking at the moment. I'm going to put a temporary uh, wall up here in a second. So the doggies can't get in while I build my rover. But the rover probably won't get done until the next episode. So I'm going to do all this welding and uh, come back. Ah, steel plate! Let's do that first. <laughs>
Okay, I need to production and make some... Oh, get some jobs running, in fact. Let's... Let's get a... Thousand of that going. Cool, that was quick. I've used up all those steel plates already. Oh, that is lightning fast. I'm going to do some redesign in here. I want to knock this uh, piece out here. So when I go outside, have a look at it. I don't really like it. It sort of feels like it's sort of pushed in. It doesn't really feel right to me anyway. So I'm thinking of mock knocking that out. And that will give me just a, an extra block of space inside here. Time will tell. I've got a little, still got a lot more building to do to get this base ready. I do like the two story, the two height section. Single height feels a little claustrophobic. And I want to get some sorters going to start pulling stuff out of the. Yeah, I want to. Get some sorters going to start pulling stuff back out of these and putting it into the damn that was quick ah pulling stuff out and putting it back into the cargo container just for now just temporarily build that Did that battery get any charge? Oh god. Controls, battery. Must have got some charge because it's now up to five days, but not quite as uh, functional as I thought. We're starting to get some power, but not going into the battery yet. So, Mr. Sun is rising. He's just hiding behind there. When he gets up high enough so I can get some charge into these solar channels into that, I'll pick this up and move it. And then I can finish off this little bit of wall down here. I'll uh, put a door on, as I think I showed you earlier. And get these temporary walls in there. And put in the glass here. That looks so good. Looks so good. I'm just going to try to get just the right spot. Beautiful. Uh, got glass along here. And then I've just put a temporary wall up here until I'm ready to build the, uh, the doors. So I'm pretty much safe now inside this base. Now there's a bit of opening here but uh, that doesn't matter and I haven't actually oh. doors work oh hello doggy that's oh power cells always need you another doggy these guns are doing a fantastic job That said, I do need to check on seven on their uh, condition.
That's good. Oh, there's another doggy. Damn it! One second too short. <laughs> I'm a dead dog. <laughs> That's so fun. Now I need a little ramp. And I will automate these doors because I don't like to do it. Not on the out way, but on the inside. Yeah, yeah. I'll put a automation block in so I can then go in and out automatically. I'll just have to be careful that it's within the bounds of this block here. So I don't you know run through here, open the door and let the doggies in. So let's see. Still no charge there yet. The sun is still too low. And I want to do a quick change here. I never liked this ramp like that. But I just discovered by accident. Grab a set of stairs. Discover by accident. If you put your stairs that way, you can actually go up them. So that is more like I wanted. Access ramp up to the upper levels. Up to this top room. There's the Argo. So those batteries are fairly discharged. They should be getting charged by the, uh, the reactor over there. So this should be charging the the Argo over there. But I'll have to keep an eye on it. But that's the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to build the gun turret rover and have some fun as well as a bit of a door on there and then I have to look at building a little uh, little tiny ship with a single reactor on it that will charge the turrets I'll have to look into that might even try to look into automation see if I can just create a unit that runs around doing it anyway until next time this is monkey B thanks for watching like and subscribe. Bye.